at a technical school. And Dan, you were taking us through a typical day and how you'll work at, uh, for, for an extended period of time for, what'd you say, a week? And then you'll go to class for a week. What's the schedule again? Yeah, uh, you just repeat it. It, it kind of operates on a cycle system. We have what's called A and B cycle. So when the seniors are in academics, they're in academics with the freshmen. So senior and freshmen travel together, and then the juniors and seniors are on what will be called B cycle. So when uh, you're on B cycle, the juniors uh, and sophomores are in trade, and they're in there for seven hours a day for approximately 10 days, while the freshmen and seniors are in academics for 10 days, and then they switch. So they switch back and forth. So you really need to uh, be a student who is used to transitions. And another misnomer about our, our technical high schools is that, you know, if you're good with your hands, then that's the place to go. Well, you know yourself when you talk about trades like automated manufacturing, you need to have the computer technology to operate the machinery. It's not done by hands anymore. Right. So the advanced math is uh, very important. And sometimes parents really don't understand and in a technical high school, students have to cram their academics in 90 days compared to 180 days in a traditional high school. So that requires what we call, uh, you know, a, a pared down curriculum, but a focused curriculum. And it requires those students to absorb all of that right. information right. so that they can continue on uh, in, the, in the school. Well. And in a way, that is also as Kyle Datra strikes out looking for the first out. Kyle's not happy with the call from the plate umpire, Jude Curry, as he heads back to the dugout. In a way, what you're talking about, academics one week, learning your skills another week, I mean, that prepares you for life in many ways, doesn't it? Definitely. Another thing about our tech system is not only are you talking about the technical knowledge of the trade, you're also talking about the soft skills teaching students how to be on time, show up, and job ready. And those are important things. And uh, that uh, practical experience, when you say showing up on the job, let's say carpentry, for example, sometimes you actually go out on a job, don't you? Oh, yes. I, I didn't mention the fact we do, do, we, we do production. So meaning that our students in there, usually in their junior and senior year, go out. And they do projects, and com the community at large can uh, go to the technical high school website and they can actually uh, you know look at uh, put in a, a application to have a job done on their own and it's done at a very reasonable cost uh, drew romo batting with a count of no balls and two strikes on him one out here in the last of the fourth yard goats trailing five to nothing cj lou into his fourth inning of work and the right hander gets the sign swings it to the motion brings to the plate and here's a swing and a miss strike three now, at what point, if, let's say you're in the eighth grade, should you be, if you want a career at a technical school, should you be applying or should you have already started the process? No, I think you're right. You hit, hit the nail on the head with the eighth grade. Our counselors go out into the communities. Uh, we have something like 18 sending towns. And our counselors go out and visit those middle schools and they meet with those students in assembly style fashion and they present what we have to offer at uh, Prince Tech. And uh, certainly students can come and tour the school. I believe we have a, a middle school in Hartford that's coming tomorrow with about 30 students. What a, just a tremendous opportunity. Uh, talk a bit, Dan, about the extracurricular activities. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's another thing that, that sometimes, uh, you know, students don't understand. We have a full array of sports at Prince Tech, and most of our schools do. Uh, you know, from football to basketball to baseball, softball, lacrosse we have at Prince, tennis, golf. So we have a full uh, volleyball, full season worth of sports. And there's the unique opportunity, let's say that Prince Tech, we don't offer wrestling. But if you're a swimmer or wrestler, you can compete as a Prince Tech student in your sending community. That's terrific. So Wow. Uh, is there a website people might be able to go to? Yes, simply AI Prince. Go to AIPrince, uh, you know, dot com, and that's our website. The one other thing I want to mention, if you're, you know, an eighth grader and you're thinking about something like this, but you're not sure what trade, you go through what's called exploratory, 